Drilling fundamentals. When drilling, you want to be sure if you are drilling a through hole to avoid your parallels that is going to be under your workpiece and or anything else that will be under your work, your workpiece. So you could have a subplate, you could be clamping straight to your table. If you're drilling a through hole, be sure to take the time and make sure that whatever you're drilling towards, it's not going to hit. Even professional machinists who have been doing this for 10, 15 years still end up drilling into their parallels because they get in a rush and they forget to make sure not to drill into what's under the workpiece. Drilling is a process that is used for putting a round hole in your workpiece. Very easy, most of you know what drilling is. Uh, in this video I'd like to go over how you hold the drill in a mill and also just some super basic rules and then we'll move on to actually showing you guys an example. There are two different ways and if you want to hold it in a collet I guess you could but there are two different ways that are used in the machining world. One is just using your standard drill chuck and your drill chuck comes with a chuck key and by using your hand to loosen and tighten onto your drill and then securely tightening with your chuck key you can use this to drill. And you always want to, just as a basic rule, I've got a drill right here, you always want to hold up all the way to the edge of your flutes. Don't hold on to your flutes and don't hold on to just the tip of the drill. You want to hold on all the way up to the edge of the flutes. Alright, now on to the Jacobs chuck. This is a Jacobs chuck, which you can just use. You can see it's knurled on the outside, and that's because you, you don't need a key to tighten this. You can securely tighten your drill by using the knurled edges and hand tightening it, and it'll do just fine. It works great with smaller drills. I would say if you had to use a half inch and above, try to use a drill chuck because it is stronger. Now with a Jacobs chuck, do not tap. If you tap with the Jacobs chuck, it can explode. I have done it to where it did not explode and I've also used a Jacobs chuck and it broke because of the pressure. So you want to be sure to just drill with your Jacobs chuck. Now on to the actual drilling and how to. Spindle speeds is a whole nother different story when it comes to tutorials. Uh, just remember that the smaller the drill, the faster the spindle speed, the bigger the drill, the slower the spindle speed. That's just a super basic rule, but we'll go over more uh, exact spindle speeds and which materials and what materials and how fast, how slow, things like that later. This is a center drill, and what you use a center drill for is to pre-center drill a hole so that your drill does not lead off. As you can see, there's a little pilot, a straight shank, and then it goes to a big taper. And this taper is going to be 60 degrees, and we use this on the lathe a lot so that you can put centers in your workpiece, but on the mill, you can also use it to just center drill your hole so your drill does not lead off. The typical rule is you want to go two-thirds deep of your taper. So ignoring the pilot, and if you look at your taper, you want to go about two-thirds of that length. Now, when it comes to a stub drill and a jobber length, you can see the difference in flute length. A stub drill is more rigid and it is a lot shorter and you do not need a center drill for this. So if you have production run and you just have to pop in a bunch of holes, I would suggest getting a stub drill because a stub drill does not need a center drill. A jobber length is a longer drill and these drills will lead off. So you want to be sure to use a center drill and center drill before you actually go through the drilling process. Now the, the angles of drills are, they vary. The main two that you will be using is a 135 degree angle and a 118 degree angle. And that is the angle of the end of the flutes. A 135 degree is what I like to use because we work with a lot of steel. It does great with steel. 118 is really meant for aluminum and your softer metals. And when it comes to plastic, it's actually even more of a steep angle. But 
for our shop and what we do, a cobalt 135 degree split point, which I'll explain what a split point is later. Uh, that's, the, that's the type of drill we like to use. It's fairly cheap and it does great and it lasts a lot longer. So those are the basic rules of how to hold a drill and in the next uh, video we're going to show you guys an example of center drilling and drilling a hole and also using a stub drill. And later we will cover the spindle speeds and feeds uh, for drilling on a manual machine. And also how to set the depth of your drill for a blind hole.